Music American popular music among America's earliest composers was a man named William Billings who, born in Boston, composed patriotic hymns in the 1770s. Billings was a part of the first New England school who dominated American music during its earliest stages. Anthony Heinrich was the most prominent composer before the Civil War. From the mid to late 1800s, John Philip Sousa of the late Romantic era composed numerous military songs particularly marches and is regarded as one of America's greatest composers. By the late 19th century, the Second New England School, sometimes referred to specifically as the Boston Six, became prominent representatives of the classical tradition of whom John Knowles Payne was the leading figure. Although little known at the time, Charles Ives' work of the 1910s established him as the first major U.S. composer in the classical tradition, while experimentalists such as Henry Cowell and John Cage created a distinctive American approach to classical composition. Aaron Copland and George Gershwin eventually, furthered by Leonard Bernstein, developed a new synthesis of popular and classical music. The rhythmic and lyrical styles of African-American music have deeply influenced American music at large, distinguishing it from European and African traditions. Elements from folk idioms such as the blues and what is known as old-time music were adopted and transformed into popular genres with global audiences. Jazz was developed by innovators such as Louis Armstrong and Duke Ellington early in the 20th century. Country music developed in the 1920s, and rhythm and blues in the 1940s. Elvis Presley and Chuck Berry were among the mid-1950s pioneers of rock and roll. Rock bands such as Metallica, The Eagles, and Aerosmith are among the highest grossing in worldwide sales in the 1960s. Bob Dylan emerged from the folk revival to become one of America's most celebrated songwriters, and James Brown led the development of funk. More recent American creations include hip-hop, salsa, techno, and house music. Mid-20th century American pop stars such as Vin Crosby, Frank Sinatra, and Elvis Presley became global celebrities, as have artists of the late 20th century such as Michael Jackson, Prince, Madonna, and Whitney Houston. With the growth of 21st century digital technologies and the resulting decline in radio, listening, producing, and sharing of music in the U.S. has become more democratized, growing the independent, MDI music scene along with opportunities for independent musicians and diversifying the genres available for listening. The rise of genres such as indie rock, indie pop, and EDM is a byproduct of these shifts in how Americans create, share, and listen to music. Cinema Cinema of the United States The Hollywood Sign in Los Angeles, California, September 2015 Hollywood, a northern district of Los Angeles, California, is one of the leaders in motion picture production. The world's first commercial motion picture exhibition was given in New York City in 1894 using Thomas Edison's kinetoscope. Since the early 20th century, the U.S. film industry has largely been based in and around Hollywood, although in the 21st century an increasing number of films are not made there, and film companies have been subject to the forces of globalization. Director D.W. Griffith, an American filmmaker during the silent film period, was central to the development of film grammar, and producer-slash-entrepreneur Walt Disney was a leader in both animated film and movie merchandising. Directors such as John Ford redefined the image of the American Old West, and, like others such as John Huston, broadened the possibilities of cinema with location shooting. The industry enjoyed its golden years in what is commonly referred to as the Golden Age of Hollywood from the early sound period until the early 1960s, with screen actors such as John Wayne and Marilyn Monroe becoming iconic figures. In the 1970s, New Hollywood, or the Hollywood Renaissance, was defined by grittier films influenced by French and Italian realist pictures of the post-war period. In more recent times, directors such as Steven Spielberg and George Lucas have gained renown for their blockbuster films, often characterized by high production costs and earnings. Notable films topping the American Film Institute's AFI 100 list include Orson Welles' Citizen Kane, 1941, which is frequently cited as the greatest film of all time, Casablanca, 1942, The Godfather, 1972, Gone with the Wind, 1939, Lawrence of Arabia, 1962, The Wizard of Ounces, 1939, The Graduate, 1967, On the Waterfront, 1954, Schindler's List, 
1993, Sinjin in the Ring, 1952, It's a Wonderful Life, 1946, and Sunset Boulevard, 1950, the Academy Awards popularly known as the Oscars, have been held annually by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences since 1929, and the Golden Globe Awards have been held annually since January 1944. Theater Theater in the United States and Broadway Theater Theater in the United States is part of the old European theatrical tradition and has been heavily influenced by the British theater. The central hub of the American theater scene has been Manhattan, with its divisions of Broadway, Off-Broadway, and Off-Off-Broadway. Many movie and television stars got their big break working in New York productions. Outside New York City, many cities have professional regional or resident theater companies that produce their own seasons. A prime objective of some works, produced regionally is their ultimate move to New York. U.S. theater also has an active community theater culture which relies mainly on local volunteers who may not be actively pursuing a theatrical career. Although earlier styles of theater such as minstrel shows and vaudeville acts have disappeared from the landscape, theater still remains a popular contemporary American art form. Broadway productions still entertain millions of theater goers, even as productions have become more elaborate and expensive. At the same time, theater has also served as a platform for expression and as a venue for identity exploration for underrepresented minority communities. These communities have formed their own companies and created their own genres of works. East-West Players, founded in 1965, was the first Asian-American theater group. Notable contemporary American playwrights include Edward L.V., August Wilson, Tony Kushner, David Henry Wang, Jean Guerre, and Wendy Wasserstein. Smaller urban theaters have remained a major source of innovation, while U.S. regional theaters retain an important place in theater life. In the 21st century, drama classes are widely available in American high schools and colleges. They were rarely offered in previous eras, and today many Americans first become interested in theater by enrolling in a drama course. The Faster Times, an online newspaper that ran from 2009 to 2013, featured a weekly column that discussed issues and trends in American theater. HowlRound, an online forum, features opinions and essays by artists and academics in American theater today. Mass Media Mass Media In the United States, the four major television broadcasters in the U.S. are the National Broadcasting Company, NBC, Columbia Broadcasting System, CBS, American Broadcasting Company, ABC, and Fox Broadcasting Company, FOX. The four major broadcast television networks are all commercial entities. Cable television offers hundreds of channels catering to a variety of niches Americans. Listen to radio programming, also largely commercial, on average just over two and a half hours a day. The U.S. commercial radio broadcasting includes FM stations and AM stations. In addition, there are also numerous public radio stations. Most of these are run by universities and public authorities for educational purposes and are financed by public or private funds, subscriptions, and corporate underwriting. Much public radio broadcasting is supplied by NPR. NPR was incorporated in February 1970 under the Public Broadcasting Act of 1967, its television counterpart. PBS was created by the same legislation. As of September 30, 2014, there are 15,433 licensed full-power radio stations in the U.S. according to the U.S. Federal Communications Commission, FCC. Well-known American newspapers include the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, and USA Today. Although the cost of publishing has increased over the years, the price of newspapers has generally remained low, forcing newspapers to rely more on advertising revenue and on articles provided by a major wire service, such as the Associated Press or Reuters, for their national and world coverage. With very few exceptions, all the newspapers in the U.S. are privately owned, either by large chains such as Gannett or McClatchy, which own dozens or even hundreds of newspapers, by small chains that own a handful of papers, or in a situation that is increasingly rare, by individuals or families. More than 800 publications are produced in Spanish, the second most commonly used language in the United States behind English. 
major cities often have alternative weeklies to complement the mainstream daily papers, such as New York City's The Village Voice or Los Angeles LA Weekly. Major cities may also support a local business journal, trade papers relating to local industries, and papers for local ethnic and social groups. The five most popular websites used in the U.S. are Google, Yahoo, Facebook, Amazon, and Yahoo.